just to order to our main speaker, Big McFarlane. Thank you very much. First of all, uh, I would like to say it's an honour and a privilege to be here, to have been asked to come over here by Carjan Heron for the 30th anniversary commemorative ceremony for the hunger strikers, for a, a magnificent rally, a tremendous turnout and a credit to the, to the organisers and to everybody who has, has taken part in it. And just before... Uh, Continue. What, what I want to do is just to pay a special mention. There are 10 young people here with 10 portraits of our hunger strikers, and there hasn't been a complaint about them the whole way in a crucial circumstances. So give them a big round of applause. Here. What we stand and quote, our, our revenge will be the laughter of our children. And this is uh, part of the legacy of that. You see, young people here today. And a lot of young people out there, a lot of people in the bands who weren't born when the hunger strikes took place. For them, it could be just an element of history. But uh, a great tribute, a great credit. You're, uh, you've done absolutely proud today. There's a magnificent turnout today in atrocious circumstances. <laughs> I, would just, I would just like to, uh, if you will indulge me, just a wee personal uh, memory and uh, just recently learned of the death of a very, very good friend of ours here in Glasgow, uh, Marky Brown, who was a great... Uh, oh, Marky Brown! Uh, uh, and uh, uh, Irish Republican sympathies to his family. So, uh, where are we? 30 years on. 30 years on from when Maggie Thatcher thought she was going to bury us. The Brits decided that what they were going to do was to defeat Republican struggle in Ireland by criminalizing the prisoners. And what they ended up doing was criminalizing their own very presence in Ireland. Yes, yes. The, fact, the fact that we are here today in such huge numbers and also in other areas throughout Ireland and abroad throughout this year to commemorate the hunger strikers is a testament to the, uh, the resistance and the resilience to the challenge that was put down by the Brits to criminalise our struggle. The lads got into the H-blocks to say that from the very first blanket man here in Nugent that they were not going to be used to either demoralise or undermine uh, our people, our struggle, our army, our party, and they put on a blanket rather than wear the criminal uniform. And what happened? Yeah. What happened in the intervening years? There were five very, very brutal, hard years. Here, Nugent put that blanket on in September 1976, and as Tommy was going through the role of honour here, you will know that Michael Devine died on the 20th of August. 1981. Five years of a very, very hard, brutal struggle to gain political status. What people need to understand is that this was not simply a prison struggle about prison conditions. If it had been, it would have been resolved in about two months or three months. The political ramifications <coughs> for success or failure, both for ourselves and for the Brits too in that matter, were absolutely huge. We were not going to be defeated. There was never going to be any surrender of the Republican struggle. And quite simply, the attitude of, for example, Francis Hughes, who said that going on hunger strike, that when he was out around the fields of South Derry, dressed up in combat gear with his AK-47 and his armalites, that he used used whatever means at his disposal to resist the Brits. Yeah. Similarly, when he was in prison, he decided struggle doesn't finish because before, so when you go to prison, struggle continues. And he decided that this is the way to struggle. And he was prepared to use his body to continue that struggle. 
and died on hunger strike to ensure that people like us could continue with struggle. That struggle has moved, it has moved on from 81 and certainly it was a watershed. The hunger strike certainly, the 10 courageous volunteers certainly laid the foundation stone for the development and enhancement of Republican politics the whole way down the road to today. Two examples like you have turned out here in huge, huge numbers today in atrocious conditions. The struggle has changed, it has taken different turns, but it still moves forward and it still needs people like yourselves, both here today and involved with Cardin and Ahern here over in Scotland and also with any of the different structures that are involved in trying to develop our struggle and win true peace and justice and freedom in our country. And I know that both Johnny uh, and Tommy have encouraged people to do come forward and to be involved in that struggle. We welcome all people that can make a positive contribution to bring in our struggle to a conclusion, which means success for the Irish people, which means in Ireland, where Irish people in a uni united country will determine what way the country is run, not British interference from London or anywhere else for that matter. I know, I know that uh, people have worked very, very hard and very long over the years in supporting, in supporting the IRA during the 1970s, 80s and 90s, right through. And also people are working very hard supporting our political project and our pro process of attempting to bring about a just and, uh, settlement to the, to the whole conflict over there. And uh, certainly we owe a great debt of gratitude to people over here in Scotland because you've been absolutely true to us throughout the years from the very start and continue to be that way. The fact, the fact that we lost 10 very courageous comrades on hunger strike God bless is simply because our struggle is a huge struggle. We're fighting an enemy in terms of British imperialism, which was massive, but they have never in their history of 800 years of occupation, they have never been able to, to defeat the will of the Irish people and their supporters. Yeah. They have failed in the past, and the sacrifice, the selfless sacrifice of the hunger strikers is testament to the will and determination that exists to bring our struggle to its final conclusion for success. The Brits failed in the past and they will fail abysmally in the future, irrespective of what way they try to do us down. I'm mindful, folks, that it's a, a very, very bad day. I don't want to stand here all day talking history, talking politics. I want to just say a big, big thank you for everybody who has contributed to this event here today. I want to thank everyone for their support over the years. I want to encourage people to continue to support our struggle for independence and freedom and for true justice in Ireland. There's a process working away there. We need as much support as possible. We need more people involved. This struggle will continue and we will be successful. Just to round off, folks, I mean, Bobby Sands said quite simply, there's a role for every person to play, no matter how big, how small, how old, how young, how significant, or even how insignificant you may feel the role is. There's no such thing as an insignificant role in a struggle for freedom, particularly not in our struggle. Anybody who can make any contribution, that contribution is part of our jigsaw of bringing about freedom and justice for the Irish people. Thank you.